Today is a fun uh, grocery store little hack that we're going to talk to you about. Many people have ways of propagating pineapples and they are quite easy, uh, very forgiving, um, and just an all-around fun, easy plant to grow. And that being said, what I'm doing here right now is you can either go to your local fruteria or grocery store or a lot of times restaurants that have like tropical drinks like piña coladas and stuff. They take all these gorgeous golden or Costa Rican golden um, pineapples, which is the commercial grown that we get in the supermarket, and they cut the fruit and when they're done, they just throw these tops away like so. And what, what you can do is this is a new pineapple plant already ready to go. So you, sh you can create a pineapple patch or you can grow your pineapples a few, many, relatively easy from just this hack. Now because these are a new plant, it takes usually about two to two and a half years um, to get fruit. And then after that, the next generations have a half-life mom, usually about a year or a year and three quarters. So you'll get fruit continuous. Um, pineapples are bromeliads, so they have a very shallow root system and they grow, um, they actually like to grow quite close to one another. So what I'm doing here is the way that we prepare them. I basically take off the top I set the top inside of here, which is going to go in our compost. Um, and then what I start doing is I start peeling um, a lot of these leaves back. They grow in a whorl. Um, and as I'm pulling these back, what I'm doing is I'm exposing these very small little rootlets that they have that will eventually turn into uh, larger roots that will anchor the pineapple. So what we do is we pull a lot of these off like so. Some tools you'll want to have is a knife, your hands, scissors, and or what I like to use, I like to use these little pliers and I'll show you in a second. So when we end up here, if you just plant this um, in soil or in a pot, you'll, you usually won't have a problem um, unless if you have raccoons or squirrels, they will dig this up and they will pull this out and they will eat this little yellow uh, piece still. So what we're going to do is I cut right on the corner and you can see here where the fruit actually stops and you have the new root. So in this section right here, I take a knife or in this case I'm using my machete. I cut down the middle there. I pull this piece off and you're going to see these little rootlets. That's good. That's what we want. I then come back with my pliers. Sometimes these are hard to pull off. And if you're doing as many pineapples as we've been doing today, these definitely come in handy. So I just pull this off like so. I check it, make sure that it's good. I also do a pull on the top. Sometimes if they're older, they'll rot out and they're already not good. But if you do a pull and it's tight, like so, this plant is actually ready to go in a pot. I'm gonna set those there and I'm gonna show you a little pot that we grab. I think they're on this side. Okay. Right there. Uh, yeah, here we go. So there. this is just a, we're using these smaller pots to root them out and then we'll plant them directly. But you could also plant them directly. So I take our little pot. Pineapples have very shallow and small roots. The key is to not over pot them. Um, so we're gonna take our top that we just did, one of them. I come here, this is just a really good potting mix that we've made, um, pine vines, it's got compost in it, and perlite. And I fill this almost to the brim. I then take my finger and make a little small hole. I'm not putting fertilizer right now because I just want these to root. This also has a lot of compost and organic matter in it. I then push the pineapple in towards the center. We're almost done. We come back over here and then we take a little bit of soil. We fill it around on the side. Fill it around on the side. And these can go in full sun or a little bit of shade actually um, to get them to root out. Can you show how you water it? Yeah, exactly. And here's our plant. So we've got one right here, done, in a nice little pot. We had a friend that just came by here earlier today and he's killed a lot of pineapples. And the easiest way to kill pineapple is if you water directly in the middle of the crown. What happens when you water in the crown is you sometimes get a bacterial soft rot or soft spot, um, soft rot. And this will rot the plant completely out. It smells very foul and pungent, so be careful. So we're not gonna water directly in the crown. I'm just watering around the outside. You can see better. Just watering around the outside. I let it sit for a sec. I kind of tap the plant in for air pockets. I then come back around. I water it in. 
let it sit in it's nice and stable and here is your freshly potted pineapple in about a month or so um, or sometimes a little bit less we're in may right now we're going into our rainy season in central florida so this won't have any issues rooting out but the next month you'll start to see some small little white roots they may come out here on the bottom or if you tug the top and it's very secure it's rooted you can then plant this directly into the ground kind of like something that we have here in the entrance of our nursery you would plant that in the ground the thing with pineapples is you don't want to plant them flat and low they need to be raised they will flood and rot out um, in our rainy season so everything here is built high up you if you do a patch you can also do small little swales and plant them on the top but once this is rooted out we just pluck this right in the ground and and then in due time, um, whether it is a slip sucker or ratoon, meaning the next generation, it will be either a smaller pineapple like so, or if you grow it from a top and wait the, the duration of time, they're usually a little bit bigger. Um, once they fruit, this is an old fruited pineapple right here. This was the pineapple from the top right there that grew on the stem, we then cut that. And you can see the next generation here too. We haven't separated them out. We do this to show for educational purposes. And we're gonna leave those two and then those will then next year make another fruit. But they could be separated into more plants. Exactly. And this is how we propagate pineapples. It's very easy to do from the store. If you wanna get a more organic pineapple, you can go to some of the big, you know, sprouts, whole foods, that kind of stuff to get an organic one. Um, or if you just wanna get just a regular top, these end up in the trash and the landfill and it's it's kind of crazy because they're so easy to grow and pineapples um, are just an amazing plant that does very well in our area. Um, they're just an easy grow and you can grow them in a pot in the ground, full sun or full shade. And that is Pineapple Propagation Third Insight Style 101. So thank you and have a great day.